Hello, Abba Tuba Judge, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, this is a new week. Praise God. And listen, we've been talking about God's love throughout the month. And here's the reason God is showing His love over your life. In Songs of Solomon, He said, He brought us into the banquet hall and His banner over us is love praise god and that's the extent to which god has displayed his love for you think about it you know when he says he brought us into his banqueting on and his banner over us meaning the way he introduces us or the way he introduced us when he brought us into the banqueting hall is love is good. Think about it. Now I know it's going to be a great week and because the Lord have brought his words to you and every day of this week you'll be receiving God's word and I want you to open your heart and receive it. There is one thing to give, there is another thing to receive. Brothers and sisters, receive the love of God today. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we make request for our daily bread, just like the Lord has commanded us to? Are you ready? Join me in faith right now and say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, when we declare or make this demand, we make it with so much expectation. We make it with, with so much faith. The reason is because the one we are demanding these things from, he hears us. The Bible says if we pray according to his will, what happens? He hears us. And John says if we know that he hears us, then we know we have our petition granted. We know we have our request granted. How do I know that I'm going to receive daily bread today because I asked. And just because he asked, I asked according to his will. How do you know it's according to his will? That's a direct command from Jesus Christ. He said, when you pray, did you just pray? Yes. He said, say this, give us this day our daily bread. I don't know how you think about it, but I don't know anything that is sure God's will than this praise god so jesus said we should ask and now we have asked and then we have asked to a god or we have made the request to a god who hears so now we know we have prayed according to his will and then we know he has heard us because we said what he wanted to hear we said what he commanded us to say and because we know he has heard us hey He's already given the command. Praise God. You remember Daniel? When the angel showed up twice, say, as soon as you began to set your heart to inquire and to pray, a message was sent. Did you see that? That's how fast God is. Praise God. Yes. Twice the angels told him that. The one of them was the one the prince of Persia held down. But the other one didn't have any issue just coming. But then they said the same thing. As soon as you began to set your heart, a word was sent. Glory to God. As soon as we began to set our heart to say, okay, let's make requests concerning our daily bread. A word was sent. And I tell you one thing, brothers and sisters, you see, because you walk according to the will and the purpose of God, there is no prince of Nigeria or wherever you are that will hold that prayer bound. Praise God. Listen to me. Your daily bread is coming to you freely, unhindered, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Expect a miracle today. Whatever it is, healing in your body, expect it. In fact, even now, you see, that's the thing. When you make a demand, begin to act like one who is expecting something. If you're expecting God to heal you, and then you ask for the healing, 
Don't be waiting for a man to come and pray for you. Are you hearing me? Now, you, you, you're on your own. You begin, you begin to think, Lord, I, I want, you know, you woke up this morning feeling sick. What do you do? You've got daily bread to receive. Maybe we should go through the scriptures to refresh ourselves. You know, there is, like Paul said, look, it's nothing to me to teach you again the things I have taught you before. Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Look at this. It says, bless the Lord from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Now, don't forget we're talking about God loves you. Now, it's because of his love, he's giving us all these benefits. So I'm reading them out to you. Now, watch this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Verse 2 says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all he is benefits he didn't say benefits he says benefits forget not all his benefits you know one day i was reading this script now now we've known this scripture for many years and we quote it we praise we sing with it and then the lord said to me one day he says look at that scripture again I said, and forget not all his benefits. You know, I used to think that this is me. I don't know about you. I used to think it meant when you're blessing the Lord, don't forget all the things he has done for you. You know, so you begin to say, oh God, I thank you for this. I thank you for this. Oh Lord, I bless you because you have been a good God. You gave me life. I woke up this morning. You know, like some people used to pray. Some people did not wake up this morning. Some people did not wake up well. You know, now, now, now. I, the, I used to think all those thoughts. And then the Lord said to me that day, look at this scripture again. And when the Lord tells you to look at something again, you better discard everything you have known and look with an open heart. Praise God. So I looked at it again. He said, and forget not all his benefits. Then the word of the Lord came to me and said, he daily loads you with benefits. Now, now, that's how the Holy Spirit teaches. Now, nobody was talking to me. The Holy Spirit was talking to me. Now, he said to me, look at this scripture again. So I looked at it again. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Then I heard that word. He daily loads us with benefits. Now, that's a scripture from the book of Psalms. Are you following me? Now, when that came to me, I said, hold on. Now, let me show you that scripture. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Psalm 68 and verse 19. We're going back to Psalm 103. But now, I told you, when, when, I, when the Lord told me, look at that scripture again, I looked at it again. As I read it the second time, he brought the scripture to light to me. He said, now look at it. He says, bless the Lord who daily loads us with benefits the god of our salvation bless the lord oh my soul bless the lord who daily loads us with benefits now let's go back to psalm 103 this is going to bless you so when i read this again in, in like who and forget not all his benefits and then the lord said to me he just gave, said it to me he daily loads you loads us with benefits i said hold on hold on he daily loads us with benefits he daily so every day he doesn't just give us benefit he loads us with benefit so now here he's saying do not forget all his benefit it struck my heart 
Oh, I feel the anointing right now. Praise God. <laughs> I love it when the anointing comes. You just feel something go through your whole body, like, you know, spasm. And, and see, when it comes, it's not just a feeling. When it comes, it begins to open up the heavens to you. We're going to have a great day. Praise <laughs> God. Now then. So, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, he, he said, I, I began to realize, wait, wait. I've got benefits to receive on a daily basis. He daily loads us. Have I been receiving my benefits every day? So when he said, bless the Lord and do not forget all his benefits, he was actually telling you, when you bless the Lord, don't forget you've got benefits to receive from him. Because you may forget. You, you, you can just be like that employer who just got a job. And you know, he 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 was told giving the contract to sign. Now, you know, he just asked, How much are you gonna be paying me at the end of the month? And they said, oh, We're gonna be paying you five hundred thousand a month. They oh, okay, praise God. Ah, I need that money so badly. Sign the contract. He signs the contract. He doesn't read through the contract, he just signs it. Because they've told him they're gonna pay him five hundred thousand a month. So he just signs it. And they said, when do I resume work? Oh, you can resume on Monday. Oh, thank you. Monday, he dresses up, he goes to work. And then he, he, he's working every day. At the end of the month, he gets his pay. He's excited. Wow, thank God. I've got money now to do one or two things that I need to do. His children get sick. He looks for the hospital he can afford with his salary. And then he sends them there. He sends his children to school that he can afford. And then he, he begins to realize that his colleagues, their children are in more expensive schools or better schools. Of course, the, the better the, more ex the expenses, you see, the, the, the quality will determine the expense of the school, the expenses of the school. So he sent, he, he realizes his colleagues, I mean, to him, were receiving the same pay. But how come you guys can send your children to these expensive schools? Oh, he heard from the colleague, oh, my, my wife, when she wanted to deliver, I took her to that private hospital. You know, and like, ah, hey, you guys, do you do any other business? I said, no. I mean, what type do we even have to do any other business? Well, we're always there. I'm like, okay. So how do you get money to fund all this? And then he's been working there for two years. And then the last day, the, the previous year, almost all his colleagues were traveling out with their families. He just decided to keep quiet, you know, and form like, let him not say anything. You know, Aren't you traveling? No, we've got this church program, you know, that's coming up. So I, I don't think I can travel. Now that's, that's an excuse he was giving. Truth be told, he cannot afford it. <laughs> but it made him to start wondering, where are these guys getting all their money from? Is there something I don't know? And so he begins to ask, look, show me the way now, you know? <laughs> like, what, what, what do you mean, show me the way? Last year, you went on vacation with your whole family. Do you know how much that cost? I noticed that your children are going to expensive school. You, there must be something else you have to do. He said, but no. The company takes care of all that. He said, which company? Our company. <laughs> he begins to think, no, this guy is not, it's not like he's more senior than me. We're on the same level. Like, and I said, ah, don't you? I said, no. Ah, didn't you read the contract that was given to you? That's when he begins to think like, what? No, I didn't read. Hey, go read it. And then he goes home and dusts that file out and brought out that letter. Brings out that letter. And then he begins to look at it. Then he realizes that with this job comes these benefits. What a day. Every year, your whole family go on a vacation of any country of your choice, fully paid for by the organization. 
You have health insurance in these top hospitals. Anyone you choose, go register with them. Your children will be, their fees will be paid for as long as you remain in this company. Your children's school fees, all of them paid for at this rate so they can go to this kind of schools. And then he looks at all these things and begins to look at himself. Two years, two years. If at last I had to borrow money to add up to my children's school fee. He, he, two years, I've been working, doing my best for this company and never enjoyed one benefit. But they were there. <laughs> no one took the money. No, nobody took the money. No one stole his money. He just did not use it. How would you feel if you're that one? <laughs> oh, listen, listen. No, 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 no. I, 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 now that's how you should feel. Now that's what David was saying here by the Spirit of God. Bless the Lord. More like, give your best at work. And do not forget all your benefits. I think some of you literally need to go check out the contract you signed at work again. Praise God. Yeah. But hey, beyond the contract at work, there is a bigger contract we signed up for the day we consciously gave our hearts to Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, that day we became children of the Most High God. We, we, were, we were drafted into the family of God in real essence of it. Not just by name. Oh, everybody's a child of God. Uh -uh. Now we come into the essence of being children of God. Like John says, beloved, now are we the sons of God. Do you know what that means? It means every day our Father releases benefits to us and it's in the contract it's in the contract praise god oh here's the contract your bible everything written in there every chapter every verse you know no nation's constitution is written by one man there's a constitution and there are the amendments and th those things take years. But every time it is amended and it becomes law, it's signed, no one is asking who wrote this, who amended this. No one asks that. Is it in the document? Yes, it is. Then let's follow according. All these books in the Bible, different authors, all speaking from the same God. And guess what? They are saying the same thing. Who are they talking about? You. You! So you look at this book as the constitution of God. And you look at everything written there. You look at everything he said he will do. And surely he will do it. Every benefit. Now this is the benefit of the children of God. Now let's look at this quickly who forgives all your iniquities. Benefit number one, he forgives all your iniquities. Like, hey, all my iniquities? Yes, all. No, does all mean all? All, all with the exception of no. Are you serious? Someone say, are you kidding me? <laughs> all your iniquities, he forgives them. How often? daily huh who heals all your diseases and I've been sick for like three months some of you have been sick for like three years four years you've been battling that sickness Lord I have not been enjoying my benefits of healing that's what you should be doing now. Look at it. Who redeems your life from destruction? How often? Daily. 
Oh, you mean today? Look at it. He, he said, who redeems present continuous, not who redeemed. Who redeems every day? I know what redeems is. To redeem is to, to buy back, to save by buying back. Meaning, if someone's life is going to be destroyed today, not you. Even if your name is penciled down for destruction today, he will buy it back. He redeems your life from destruction. Wow. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? How many of these have you been collecting? But you know the truth. Why don't you start right now? Lord, I have been missing all my benefits. I have been blessing you. I have been praying. I have been singing. I have been worshipping you. I have been tithing. I have been, you know, think of all the faithfulness that you have been showing before the Lord. But I didn't know I had benefits to collect. Lord, right now, Hallelujah. You don't need anybody to pray for you. I'm showing these things to you. So you will take his word for what it is. Lord, I receive my healing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And then when you are praying like that, I'll tell you how to do this. As you're saying, I receive all my healing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you know you're praying according to his will. You know he hears you. And if he hears you, you've got your petition granted. So I receive my healing right now. And as you're saying, I receive my healing right now. You begin to do what you couldn't do before. If you couldn't stand up, you begin to rise. If, if, if your head was aching you, you begin to turn it, twist it. I receive my healing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. And then, see, as you begin to feel any iota of release, begin to rejoice. If you had issues walking before, standing up before, why are you praying to him? I receive the benefit of healing today. Get up. Make an effort. And see the power of God at work in you. Now you, you can see that power walk today and praise him and enjoy him. And do you know what's happening? By evening, that sickness may try to come back again. And say, ah, I thought I was healed. Oh, it's so painful. Now let me rest. Listen. Remember tomorrow again, you've got benefit to receive. Take it. I'm telling you, that you, when you keep practicing this every day, that devil is going to leave you alone. Because what's the news? What's the news? Tomorrow he's going to get up again. <laughs> it's gone. Our time is up already. Oh, glory. Now, this was, this was, this was sweet to me. Praise. Listen, receive your benefits. Go look at that scripture again. Look, at, meditate on it. Meditate on it until it hits your spirit. Until this thing becomes your reality. Meditate on it. And the Lord grants you that which you desire of him. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for you right now. Receive strength to believe God. Receive strength in your body right now. I see joint pains being healed. Every pain in the joint, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Arthritis of the leg, be healed right now. As I'm saying this, listen, just get up and begin to do what you couldn't do before. Be healed. Be healed. Pain in the back, be healed right now. Get up and begin to bend. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every pain in your body lives now. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Praise God. I love this. Bye.